Hey, welcome back to another video. Um, in this one, this is gonna be kind of a short video. But, um, anyway, I just wanted to go over, um, a small change that I made. It's not permanent, and it's not gonna be in my testing of the 3-speed back there. But I just wanted to try it because, like I said in the last video of my 2-cylinder, I might try it. And this is also completely unrelated to the 3-speed. But anyway, that thing is longer valve cranks. So, obviously, it does make a lot more friction on the engine, unfortunately. So, it does run a bit slower, but it sounds really cool. Like, I don't even know why I decided to make this video in the first place. But, um, yeah. So I made I made it anyway because I just felt like I wanted to try it. I do I do this with a lot of my engines. I just make the valve crank longer for for one video or for a day or so to see how it sounds. I personally like it. I don't know if you will, but anyway, um, a quick side note before we go any farther with this. After I make. Um, the video with the three speed back there I will be moving on to a different type of vacuum engine and that is going to be an oscillating mo model so like an oscillating type engine um, I do have footage of that but I won't be able to get it until a later date so it's really old footage by the way but I guess you'll see when I put out that video but anyway Let's run this cool sounding engine. Now unfortunately, um, I had to remove the carburetor because of the fact that it doesn't run as fast, which is a little bit disappointing, but it does still sound cool like I said. And also, big thanks to LEGO Warriors Adventure for giving me the idea to put a tire over the top of my vacuum to make a better seal. It really helps, and I'm glad that you suggested that. All right, here we go. So, that's going to do it for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the modified version of my two-cylinder. And yeah, um, that's about it. I'll see you all in the next one.